Hi, I just received uh, the Sketcher Go Run uh, 2, which is uh, relatively new and uh, the third installment of the uh, Sketcher Go Run. So, uh, this is a short unboxing uh, video. I try to bias my uh, write up nowadays towards more video, video blog. So, uh, it can be a little bit more, uh, what do you call it, in, in interactive. So, I, I, I receive it. I have not removed it since I actually came back from uh, from the shop. Can you see the plastic bag is still here? So, um, so I'm just gonna open it. Um, I already seen the shoe while I was trying it. So just to a uh, little bit of marketing uh, update here: Sketcher Go Run Two, uh, Rest Light, Custom Fit. Uh, basically, it allows you to remove the uh, the insole for a more what you call a, a, a minimal, uh, almost a a minimalist uh, kind of uh, 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 fit actually so yep it is lightweight definitely uh, breathable four-way stretch mess uh, I've experienced it in the uh, uh, go bionic as well and then a progressive flex which allow um, very much flexibility when you are when, when you're landing and uh, taking off again M strike uh, good stuff here uh, basically, I've experienced it in both the Go Bionic and uh, Go Trail. The promote uh, mid foot strike, uh, which is a good way to start relearning how to run rather than uh, heel striking or landing on a heel, which can on the long term could actually hurt your knees. Uh, the Go Impulse Sensor, uh, which actually what it really meant is uh, the sole of the shoe. And um, it's a 4 mm drop, uh, almost a near neutral position. So if you, I believe, if you remove the insole, you're most likely to get almost a zero drop uh, for the shoe, right? So um, the color that I got is uh, pretty striking, as you can see. It's neon green. Awesome, awesome, awesome color, right? Uh, I guess, I guess uh, with. Uh, the runners nowadays being a little bit more um, exhibitionist, uh, uh, pardon, pardon me for saying that, but uh, I, I think we all like things that are bright and uh, attention grabbing, right? Uh, gone are the days that uh, runners will actually go for boring uh, color. So nowadays shoes needs to be not only be functional, but it needs to be good looking as well. So uh, as you can see, the shoe, this is how it look like. 360 degree uh, look and uh, this is a sole the uh, Ressa light and also the uh, Go Impulse okay the look inside is the uh, yeah, I got myself a size 11 the um, flat lock stitching they call it basically what it meant is that you can actually go sockless and um, you not to worry about uh, any part actually brushing against your your feet uh, that will cause uh, blister. So let me just take out the insole. You see the insole is uh, pretty thin. good stuff, and uh, it's really light. It's almost uh, not there. And um, the sock liner, you can see that is not the typical shoe that uh, you get a white flat bit that uh, sort of give you that uh, unfinished look. But this is this look very finished so good stuff here um, and uh, one thing to point out i was told that the tongue is actually sewn on so that actually allows you if you are a triathlete or a dual athlete um, during a transition um, the tongue actually stays up so all you need to do is just pull the tongue and you can actually slip your leg in more flat lock stitching here so you can see that um, it's almost a smooth uh, finish inside and the uh, laces are also flat as well right so this is a four-way mesh just give a close-up look for the four-way mesh okay right so that's for the unboxing of the uh, sketcher go run 2 and uh, wait up for the review when i actually take the shoe out for spin